this week, we wanted to bring attention to the ocean. So I'm truly delighted to be able to gather here in this beautiful city of Dubai with such amazing leaders, scientists, artists and champions to raise awareness on the urgency to protect life on the sea and fight plastic pollution. So let's start by a definition. The blue economy is sustainable use of ocean resources for economic growth, improved livelihoods and jobs while preserving the health of the ocean ecosystem. We live with the ocean, through the ocean, by the ocean. The ocean plays a critical role in the fight against climate change by absorbing almost a third of the CO2 produced by human activities. We do believe more than ever in blue diplomacy. Blue food is good for biodiversity. They include thousands of species of aquatic plants and animals. Many of them are very rich in proteins and micronutrients. Blue food have much lower environmental impact. Many actors, uh, the UN, national governments, NGOs, business leaders and startups are starting to focus on that too, and chefs as well. Mangrove sequester and capture CO2 sometimes 10 times more than classic trees. We have decided to protect and to plant mangroves in the UAE, but in an innovative way. But with the drone, we have uh, planted more than 40,000 seeds. I sell during two months in the middle of the plastic. I had to stop my boats like 40 times to take away this plastic from my boats. 80% of the plastic comes from the land. So that's the chance we have. We can pick up this plastic before it goes in oceans. And we work together during five years to invent the first big boat able to pick up this plastic in oceans. We want to tell our children about the wonders of what's out there. So we take our research vessel and turn it into an educational center where kids watch and, and interview and, and discuss with researchers in real time. It's not as if this is what we need to do in order to succeed. It's the only thing we need to do in order to succeed. First of all, thank Dr. Roy. Please give him a very well welcome because he's hosting us tonight. The largest ship design firm in the world. We have converted almost 1,500 ships as green ships in the last couple of years. I'm so happy to be with you and welcome you to this fabulous evening together to raise awareness around the preservation of the ocean. I'd like to start by saying a big thanks to you, Emmanuel. The um, organization that you lead is very dear to us. The way in which you are able to leverage the moving image to stir conscience, otherwise unmoved, is very impressive. We need to dream to imagine a better world, but also to remember who we are. And I hope this night everybody remember. Such energy today, it's really great, great. Energy is committed also to net zero carbon by 2045. So all the question about fighting climate change is something very important for NG. Last week, the temperature in Antarctica was much more than 30 degrees than it was the year before. Please do 
for the planet, for the climate, for the biodiversity. You have to be committed for that. In 2100, we will have probably 10 times more plastic than today. You imagine 20 boats like the Manta, you imagine 2,000 little smallest boats. We are able to collect the 80% of the plastic floating on the oceans today. I'm content as announced the funding of up to 10 documentaries and series or short films that are eco-conscious. I would just like to say that film is such a beautiful thing. It's an expression of art which has the potential to change the world. It's high time we wake up and we go out of our little bubble, or big bubble. I urge you, we will build a better world, yes, if and only if we go out of our bubble and we consider this is not our duty, nor our responsibility, but if we try to repair the world because we find meaning and joy in it. We have a great power. We have the power to tell stories, to inspire. We have the power to testify, to tell the stories of amazing people around the world who are working to elevate humanity and to make this world a better place. Thank you, Manuel Collat de La Roche and your team for your extraordinary support and engagement. I'm delighted to be part of the larger, bigger than us and better world community. I think that we can create luxury in a mindful way. Mindful way of the environment and of the people that we are with. <laughs>